Hey guys, as you can see, I got myself the new Nintendo DSi system that just shipped in Japan over the weekend. It shipped on November 1st in the black and the white, and I thought I'd uh, walk you through some of the new features of the DSi and compare it to what you're more familiar with, the DS Lite. So as you can see, not much has changed for the DSi. It's about the same shape and the size of the DS Lite. Um, it is a little longer, but it is thinner as well. The other change is that there is no longer a GBA slot for the DSi, so it can't play GBA games, and it also can't play DS games that use the GBA slot for peripherals. Games like Guitar Hero no longer can be played on the DSi. The other big difference is when you open up the system, you'll notice that the screens themselves are a little bit bigger on the DSi. The resolution is exactly the same, it's just that they're a little bit bigger. Other slight differences include a uh, power button inside the system, as well as the volume control is no longer handled by slider, it is now buttons. There are two big additions to the DSi system. First of all, it's got an SD card slot, so if you have photos or music, you can pull them into the DS and play them there. And it also has two cameras, one on the inside to take a picture of yourself, and one on the outside to take pictures of your friends. So with the cameras, Nintendo's giving you a lot to play around with. Um, it's mostly for fun, but you can take some real pictures if you wanted to. The camera resolution isn't uh, much more than what you'd get on a cell phone, but it looks pretty good on the DS system. Uh, the software is really cool, though, where you can uh, manipulate the live feed so you can stretch the, your friend's faces. You can also add mustaches on automatically with the face tracking. Um, you can even morph faces from one to the other automatically. Uh, and whatever you take a picture of will be written either to the system or to the SD card. And whatever photo you take can be moved from one DSi system to another locally and wirelessly. The DSi also has the ability to play music. Um, it does not play MP3 files. It plays AAC formatted songs. But once you get them on the SD card and into your system, you can do all sorts of fun things with it. Um, you can change the way the equalizer looks on the top screen. Uh, you can change the pitch and the speed of the song while it's being played. You can add sound effects by hitting the left and right trigger. <laughs> Just a lot of fun, lots of fun things to do. It's not really a, an iPod, but it does some really cool things. So the DSi has improved online capabilities as well. It's online right out of the box. You uh, set it up in the menu itself. Uh, this is important when you want to get connected to the DSi store and download new software to the DS. Um, the only thing that's available on the store right now is the Opera browser, uh, but like the DS browser that's already available, um, it's not very good. It's very slow and it's very incompatible. You'll find some websites that work, but it's really not worth the time to download. There's also a bunch of little features about the DS that seem influenced from the Wii itself. You'll notice that the, uh, the menu now has like this channel system just like the Wii. Uh, you also have the ability to, when you're in a DS game, back out to the main menu just by hitting the power switch. You don't have to turn off the system anymore. Um, you can also hot swap out games while you're on the menu system. You just pop out a game, it disappears from the menu, you put the cartridge back into the system, and it pops back up right away. It's really cool. And just like the Wii, uh, the system is updatable through firmware, so whenever Nintendo updates any of the programs that are already in the system, you just download it off the internet and install them on the DS right from the get-go. So the Nintendo DSi just hit Japan over the weekend. Nintendo of America has said they have every intention of releasing this system, but not until well after Christmas. So does that mean you import the Japanese one? I'm going to have to say, hold off, because there's a lot of uh, language barrier issues with the system. All the menus are in Japanese, and even though you can play any DS game on the system, Japanese or US, uh, you can only access the DSi store in Japan on the Japanese system, so you're limited into what you can download. Now it's a really, really cool system with the camera and the, the music player. Um, but I'm going to have to say hold off until the US version hits the shelves. So that's the DSi. There's plenty more about this system. I've only scratched the surface here, so make sure you check out my written piece on IGN.com. Thanks for watching.